So the beam hard fork, are you ready to mine it? No worries, I'll show you how. Shane here, thanks for stopping by my channel. So today we're gonna to look into the beam hard fork. As of today, Friday, it's only two days away. I'll show you guys exactly what you need to do to get up and mining on this new hard fork that beam has coming out. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing, setting all notifications, and if you like this kind of content, hammer those likes. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first. My last video, a lot of you guys thought I was leaving the cryptocurrency scene or just stopping doing YouTube videos altogether. That's not true. I was just talking about the 560s I was getting rid of. Didn't mean to lead you guys down the road of me leaving the YouTube space. It wasn't my intention at all for you guys to think that I was leaving YouTube. I'm not going anywhere. So the Beam Hard Fork. I did do a video on this a couple of weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago or so. Just letting you guys know that it is coming up on June 28th, which is this Sunday at block height 777777. I don't know exactly what time of day that's going to be, but it will be sometime during that day. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about mining the new algorithm beam hash 3 i'll have the bat files down below this video and everything ready to go so once sunday rolls around and that hard fork happens you will be ready to go and mining on the new algorithm so without further ado let's go ahead and hop into the computer and i'll show you guys everything you need to know about mining beam on the new beam hash 3 algorithm All right, so here we are in the Bitcoin talk. As usual, everything I'm talking about, all the links, bat files, everything will be down below this video. So don't worry about searching for any of this info. I'm not going to be doing a review of Beam. I just wanted to show you here's the Bitcoin talk. If you guys want to look into Beam more, you can go ahead and do that. Here is an article over on altcoinbuzz.io. Beam hard fork to update proof of work algorithm. Just go over this briefly. As a result of the updates, older wallet versions would stop working once the block I hitch 777, 777 is reached. Therefore, users need to upgrade their wallets to versions 5.0 or higher to gain access to their funds. I'll show you guys how to do that here in a bit. All right, so we just go ahead and scroll down here. Major changes due to the hard fork. Some important changes resulting from the hard fork upgrade include the proof of work algorithm, of course, BMASH 2 to BMASH 3. Uh, it'll be activating support on confidential assets. The Lelantis Mimblewimble will also activate support, support for one-sided payments. Uh, BMAS3, great improvement for miners. BMAS3 is going to be a great improvement to the Beam mining network. This is because it is better for GPU mining and GPU miners. Uh, the wider memory operations in the BMAS3 design will lead to better use of the fuller capacity of a GPU card. This is because it reduces the potential advantage of other devices thereby making it easier to saturate with given bandwidth of GPU cards. All of these are put in place to ensure the network supports 100% GPU mining. It also ensures that any FPGA would be much similar sole watt as the fastest GPU mining cards. So I guess that's kind of cool. In my last video, I was a little unsure about the ASIC FPGA angle, but it seems to me right here, at least according to that statement, that they are dedicated to GPU miners, which is good to know. Therefore, miners need to update their wallets and mining software before the hard fork reaches its height. So once the height is reached, they would just be able to switch over and enjoy great hashing experience. All right, here is a Medium article. Again, I'm not going to go through this, but it'll be down below if you want to read more on the hard fork and what it is about. So if you go over to what to mine right now, I wanted to show you guys real quick. This is my NVIDIA rig right now. Two 1660 Ti's, 1070 Ti, and a 1066 gig. If you scroll down and look what we make with Beam right now, we're making about $1.76 a day or $0.80 cents take home. Of course, that's not the most profitable coin to mine. And that would be actually Zcoin right now. That's popped up to the top, so that's a little bit surprising. $2.35 or $1.34 take home. That's nice to know. But that's neither here nor there. So let's head over to the actual thing that we need to get into. And we're going to need to get the latest version of the wallet. There's Windows, Linux, Android, iOS, and Mac. Of course, I have a Windows rig, so I'll be downloading the Windows version. 
So you just click on Windows, Desktop Wallet, it's going to be the latest version. Just click Download. As usual, I put it in its own folder, called it Beamhash 3 Update. So you go into here, and there's the file that you go ahead and download from their website. Now when you go ahead and double click on this, I'll show you exactly what it does. It'll pull up a screen that looks just like this. It'll automatically find your wallet file on your computer. And as you can see there, it says best match. You just go ahead and click next. When you do that, it'll come to this page and you select start auto migration. Make sure though that your old Bean Wallet is closed before you do this. I think it'll actually force you guys to close it if you should have it open. So just make sure it's closed before you start this migration. So like I said, start auto migration. And on the next screen, you're going to have to enter your password for the current wallet and just click show my wallet. And on the final screen, it will load the new version of the wallet and sync with the blockchain. That took me probably about 45 minutes. Wasn't too long. And when that is done, this is what the new wallet will go ahead and look like. As you can see, I have a whopping 1.74 beam sitting in there. So this is the home page. Next little icon here is for Atomic Swap. So again, I'm not going to get into this. This is just about mining for the hard fork. Next little icon is your wallet addresses. Then you can have little notifications. Next one is UTXO and then of course settings. So what we need is going to go back up to the first icon here. And we're going to click receive right there. It's going to automatically generate you a wallet address which is sitting right there. One thing you guys want to do is it says expires 24 hours. You want to click this little drop down and click never. And I like to name my wallet addresses like my last one I named it NVIDIA Rig Mining. So we'll just put test right here just for the purposes of this video. Then click copy transaction address. So if you go down to your actual addresses right here, you can see there is my new wallet called test. You may not have any wallets in there if this is a new install for you. So here's your address right here. I know you guys can't fully see it. Just right click on it, click copy, and it will copy the whole long address, which of course is what you're going to need to mine the new hard fork. So speaking of mining, let's go see exactly what miner we're going to need. So the miner that is currently ready for the BMASH 3 hard fork as of making this video is a LOL miner. So that's what we're using. They are working on versions for G miner, B miner, mini Z, things of that nature. But I haven't gotten those to work. I have gotten LOL miner to work. So that's what we're going to use for this video. Again, this link will be down below. So don't worry about looking for any of this info. Scroll down here and I have a Windows rig. So you click on Windows 64 zip. This is my NVIDIA rig right here. I went ahead and put it in its own folder called Beam, Low Miner version 1.0 underscore Beam. We go into there, go into this folder, and I created these two little bat files. So the Beam-new, that bat file will be down below. So all you have to do is copy all that info, just change your wallet address, and then save it as a bat file, which I'll show you guys how to do that here now. So let's go ahead and look at that bat file. Let's go ahead and click Edit. And like I said, you're going to want to change your wallet address right here. Now at the end, there's a dot NVIDIA rig. That's my rig identifier. You can leave that blank if you want. I always like to put a rig identifier on there just so I can see that I'm sunk up with the pool. Speaking of pools, I'm using two miners right here. This is the only one that I've got to work right now. Of course, these other pools are going to be updated here within the next 24 to 48 hours. But as of making this video, I've got two miners to work. So that's what I'm going with. Again, if you want to change pools, here's a complete list of pools. Again, this link will be down below and you can go ahead and change to whatever pool you want. Like I said, I'm on two miners right here. So if you go back over to here, change your pool wallet address. And once you do that, you should be good to go. So once you paste all this information into a notepad file, just click file, save as. And for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to call this RUN.BAT. So click save and we'll go into the folder right here. And as you can see, there's a file we just created. I'll double click on it. It's not going to go ahead and run because it is the new Beamhash 3 algorithm, but it will sync up here, but it just won't successfully submit any shares. So at least I know that I'm ready to go and I am sunk up with the pool right there. So let me go ahead and close this. 
There's one thing I want you guys to know that I really don't like about this algorithm right now. You need at least a six gigabit card to mine this new Beamhash 3 algorithm. Over on their Discord right here, somebody asked that. Beamhash 3 will need a six gigabit plus card. And Raskul, one of the team members, says yes. Now the developer of Low Miner, which is Lolly Deeb right here. I think that's how you say it. Lolly Deeb, Lolly Deb. Sorry if I'm butchering that name. Uh, he, she is working on a four gigabit solver for this algorithm right now. So I'd imagine that's probably going to be out here shortly. But as of right now, you need at least six gig card to mine this algorithm. So if you don't have any six gig cards, let me go ahead and pull this file up again. See how it says dash dash devices equals zero and one. That's telling the miner to only use GPU 1 and GPU 2, which GPU 1 is in the first slide. They always call it GPU 0. So devices 0 and 1. So on my NVIDIA rig, I'm only mining with a 1070 Ti and a 1066 gig. The funny thing is, it will not mine with my 1660 Ti 6 gigs. It just gives me an error of allocation of memory. This rig does have 8 gigabit of RAM. If anyone knows why that may be, Go ahead and post that down below. I would be interested in why it's not mining with the 1660 Ti's, even though they are six gig cards. That's why I have this little line here in the bad file. It's telling it only to mine with those two cards. So let's say you have a four card rig and the first two cards are eight gigs or higher and the last two are four gigs. So you would just set it up just like this. Devices only mine on zero and one. So say you have a six gig card in slot one and slot three it would be devices equals zero comma two that would tell the miner to go ahead and mine on gpu one and gpu three if you guys have a rig full of eight gig cards just go ahead and delete this whole little line right here and you should be good to go actually in the bat file down below i will just leave this little line off i just did it for my rig because like i said for some reason the 1660 ti's are not working so i had to put that little line of code in so if you guys wanted to uh, check out the old version of the algorithm, which is Beamhash 2, let me go ahead and close this down right here. Don't save. Go back into here, and I can just click on Beam Old, and it'll pull up the miner. And so you can see 4G right there, 4 gig cards, Beamhash 2. And it'll go ahead and start mining on that old algorithm, which should be good for another two days. You can go over to two miners. I should be able to click Refresh. And six seconds ago, it sees my NVIDIA rig right there. That's why I like to put the rig identifier in there. So guys, that's as easy as it's going to be to mine on the new algorithm. Like I said, the bat file will be down below. So don't worry about trying to figure out any of that info. All you would have to do in that file is go ahead and put your wallet address in there. Save it as whatever you want. Just make sure it's a .bat file. And you should be good to go once this hard fork is Pass and everything has gone good with the hard fork. So now that the beam hard fork information is out of the way, let's go ahead and pick a winner for Bitcoin Roulette and Bitcoin Fridays. All right, so here is the last video I did. Let me go ahead and copy that link address, take it over to the random YouTube comment picker. We're gonna go ahead and paste it in there real quick. Let's get some comments. We got 84 unique comments for Bitcoin Roulette. Let me go ahead and pick a winner. Good luck, everybody. Let's see who wins this week's Bitcoin Roulette. Ridiculous Jatomic. I find having any different cards make mining an unbearable. Having the same cards on one rig, no problems. All right, that's a good point there, Jatomic. If you would go ahead and enter your Bitcoin wallet address down below in the comments so I can send your winnings for Bitcoin Roulette on over, I would appreciate that. All right, so now let's hop over to my website and pick a winner for Bitcoin Fridays. All right, so here we are in thecryptofish.com. Make sure you enter your email address right there. Click subscribe. Like I say, YouTube doesn't always notify you guys of my interest to win videos that come out on Tuesday or Wednesday. This is just another way for me to get in contact with you guys, let you know the video has come out. You can come over, watch the video, and enter that week's contest. So let's go ahead and hop into the back office. Bitcoin Fridays 626 2020. 
105 contestants, 6,154 entries. Let me go to manage giveaway. All right, so all I have to do is click this little draw button right here. We'll randomly pick a winner. If you don't win, don't worry. I do it every week just as long as Bitcoin is above $7,000. Just make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and the email list so you don't miss that video. All right, let's click draw. Good luck, everybody. Let's see who wins. All right, we have Jacques. Congratulations, Jacques. Let me go ahead and confirm Jacques. And let me go ahead and notify Jacques. Jacques, you should be receiving an email here shortly. Just go ahead and respond to that email with your Bitcoin wallet address and I will go ahead and send this week's Bitcoin Friday's winnings on over. If you guys have any additional questions or comments, be sure to put them down below and you'll automatically be entered into my next video's Bitcoin Roulette contest where I'll give away some more Bitcoin. Again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and if you like this video, hammer those likes. If you think somebody else would find this video interesting, please share it around. It helps the channel out and I would appreciate that. And with that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.